Hey everyone, in this video I'll be making a Harry Potter inspired Easter basket. First up I'll be attempting to make the Triwizard Golden Egg that Harry gets in the Triwizard Tournament. And first you're going to need an egg. I'm using this medium to small sized plastic egg. It's supposed to hold gift cards and whatnot. You can always buy a bigger egg if you want a more realistic version, but I chose a smaller size because I'm going to be putting it in a basket. Next, I'll be using some air dry modeling clay. After looking at a bunch of reference photos, I took a bit of the clay and molded it into a shape like so and put it on top of the egg and just kept looking at those reference photos and tried my best to mimic the shape that's on top of the egg as best as I possibly could. There's a lot of details that are on the egg, like these drawings and little etches and whatnot. You can obviously take like a sharpie or some acrylic paint to try your best to replicate the etches that are on the egg, but I left mine pretty bare and I'm just doing the rice part that is on the top of the egg and the details that are on there, but I left the egg itself pretty bare and I'm just going to spray paint it with gold after it's done drying the air the air dry clay after it's done drying for 24 hours you can uh, take it off the egg and glue it onto the egg and then go ahead and spray paint it or use acrylic paint whatever you feel like doing I did mine in bright gold in spray paint and after the spray paint is dry you can obviously take the sharpie or the acrylic paint and do the etches or the drawings or you can write property of a triwizard champion onto the egg or property of whomever you're going to give the basket to. It's really up to you. I, like I said, I just left mine pretty bare. If you're using air dry modeling clay, it helps to have some water nearby because it starts to dry up obviously. And if you're still working with it, the water helps smooth out the clay and make it easier to work with. The tool that you see me use in this clip is a dotting tool, but you can obviously use a toothpick for this if you want to. Once you're done with your egg and everything's dried, go ahead and put money, a gift card, or even candy inside of it. Next I'll be making a wand out of a pencil. You can obviously use a pen if you want to. I've actually made a wand pen out of paper before and I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description box. You can also use a chopstick if you want to make it more of a prop. But in this video, I chose to use a pencil. I've done the pen and chopstick thing in other videos, and everybody needs a pencil at some point. Obviously, this is not a forever thing, but once you can't use it anymore, you can obviously make another one. It doesn't take that much time. So take your hot glue gun and start designing whatever wand design you want. I just chose the handle design because it only takes up the top part of the pencil and that way I can use the pencil a lot longer. If you're using a pen, you can be more creative with your designs. So yeah, this design covers up the eraser, but usually with these pencils, the eraser's crappy anyways. But I have a DIY Deathly Hollows eraser tutorial and I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description box. You can make that and include it into the basket or you can just buy separate erasers and put that in there if you wanted. Once the glue is dry, paint it whatever color you desire and you can use either acrylic paint or spray paint. I used acrylic paint and after that I sprayed it with acrylic sealer to keep the paint on. Now you or whomever you give the basket to can take their test and style because usually you need a standard number two pencil. Now onto the candy portion of the video, I found this Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans box template online. I printed it out and cut it out and I used double sided tape to tape the box together. 
you can't really see in the video but when you print it out you'll be able to see where to cut it and where to fold down and whatnot and you can obviously look at this video to see a visual on how to fold it and tape it down. I'll leave a link to where I found this box template down below in the description box so you can print it out and use it yourself. To fill it, you can use an Easter favorite, which is jelly beans, and you can just put it in a plastic baggie and put it inside there. Or you can buy like bean boozled, which is like something, I think that's what it's called. It's something similar to Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans because it has every nasty flavor and whatnot. Or you could just buy the real thing, and I'll leave links to where you can buy it down below in the description box if you don't want to do this. Once you've filled the box, you can go ahead and use those flaps to tape together the box. Next, I printed out some labels that I made to put on some Ziploc baggies of basic candy that you can buy at the store. And I'll leave a link to the labels down below in the description box. So I found these golden chocolate eggs at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were perfect for this because I made the Triwizard egg and I thought it fit the theme pretty well but you can use any chocolates you want and you can put this Dementor label on top of it. Dumbledore's favorite sweets is lemon drops and lemon drops kind of remind me of lemon heads so I bought some lemon heads and put them in a Ziploc bag and popped on the label I created for it. The last thing I added to the basket was a chocolate frog, but I already made a video on chocolate frogs and I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description box in case you want to add it to your basket as well. And of course the last two things you're going to need is an Easter basket and some Easter grass. I found mine at Dollar Tree, but around this time of year you can find it pretty much anywhere, especially at craft stores. So once you have your grass inside the basket, you can go ahead and assemble everything that you made and bought into your basket. And that's it. I hope you guys find this video helpful if you have a Potterhead in your life and you are looking to give them an Easter basket this year. I think some of these ideas would be pretty perfect. It doesn't really have to be for Easter. It could be for any occasion. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thanks so much for watching.